I'm Sarah Woodbury, and I'm here today at Dolvorwin Castle. Dolvorwin Castle was built between 1273 and 1277 by Swellen Ap Griffith, deliberately in this spot to counter Montgomery Castle, which is located four miles to the east on the other side of the Severn River. It is located in Powys above the village of Abermule, with commanding views of the Severn Valley. What was different about Dolvorwen as opposed to many of Schwellen's other castles was not that it wasn't a, they weren't strongholds or administrative centers, but that this castle was specifically built to counter the power of the Mortimers and Montgomery, four miles to the east. His other castles guarded passes, yes, and they guarded his sheep and cattle herds, but this one was really at the outermost point of his power, the farthest it ever reached, which was probably why in 1277, when it was besieged, he felt that he didn't have the resources to defend it. It covered an area 240 feet by 90 feet and consisted of two wards divided by a rock cut ditch. A rectangular keep sat at the southwest end with a circular tower on the northeast. These were connected by a wall and battlement, making a rectangular enclosure. With a D-shaped tower on the northern wall. A Welsh town grew up just to the south of the castle. At one time, a drawbridge led from the town across the southwestern ditch to a simple gate in the curtain wall. When King Edward invaded in 1277, the town was destroyed and then the castle taken. When Roger Mortimer took control, he rebuilt the town on the English side in the valley. To this day, that town is known as Newtown. Because of its location and the threat it posed to the Mortimers, the castle was attacked by the English and taken early in the War of 1277. It fell on April 8th, in large part because a well hadn't been dug within the castle and the occupants ran out of water. Subsequently, the castle was held by the Mortimers until 1322, when they lost their lands due to the treason of Edmund Mortimer. At that time, an inventory of rooms was taken, which recorded an armory, a pantry, buttery, kitchen, 
brew house, bake house, chapel, great hall, a ladies chamber and two granges for the storage of grain. By the end of the 14th century, the castle was in disrepair and was never used again. Thanks for watching my video. You can click on the playlist or subscribe to my channel to see more. There'll be a new video next week. If you want to check out my books, click on the link to my webpage.